another day, another round of disc golf. This time we're doing prodigy round only. So of course we got to build a bag. Putters, obviously we're putting with the PA3s, the best putters on the market. Those will be the putting putters, our throwing putters, another PA3, 350G, and then also the P model OS, pretty overstable, 3403. It's in the Pro Flex plastic. I've done this a handful of times. She's stable. For our approaches, we have a beat in KJ A2, pretty well seasoned and dinged up, but we'll throw this a few times on the course. A little less stable, we got the Kevin Jones distortion, 4303 basically your zone. And then a little less stable, we have the 750, I think Glimmer, A4, pretty flat. Moving over to our mid ranges, I've got a first run MX3 in the 500 plastic. This one's very seasoned. I've had, I used to bag this for a very long time. Pretty straight, slight finish at the end. A little bit more stable, we have the Isaac Robinson's Archive 5502. This one has a decent amount of finish on it and it's pretty new. I did one video on this and that was it. So pretty fresh archive. And the last but not least, our drivers. 500 plastic KJF1. I don't think I've ever thrown this. So this will be fun. We also have an Air FX2, 163 grams. Does not matter. This thing is so overstable. Weirdest disc I've thrown just because it's so lightweight, but you can really smash this thing and it doesn't turn over. The FX4, 95, negative two, one. Still very new. I've only done one video on it. Kevin Jones feedback, 95, negative one, three. I'm curious to see the differences in these two. I guess we'll figure that out today on the course. And then last but not least, the reverb, my distance driver and only distance driver. I had a lot of D1s and D2s, but I kind of gave them away. So this is the last man standing. Pretty windy day. Let's jump right into it. This wind is moving right now. All right, 405 feet. I need a turnover shot. I think uh, FX4 might be the way to go. Kind of a tailwind though. So it's gonna make this fly a little bit more stable. Yep. Okay, two off the top. We're gonna go F1 and actually hit this on some Anheuser. Better. Ooh, we're gonna have to adjust to this one for sure. Not necessarily looking for a birdie on the first hole. I'm definitely not looking for a 120 foot upshot though. We'll bust out the P model OS. Slight run slash layup. More on the layup side. Nothing wrong with starting off with a par. The next hole, we need to get a birdie though. Nice little tailwind on this 263 foot shot. I've got so many options. I wanna throw them all. I'm gonna go with P model OS. Just gonna hang this out wide, let the disc finish to the left. Oh boy, 50 foot uphill headwind putt. What could possibly go wrong? Oh boy. If I was a betting man, I think I went off this cliff. Just right here. Okay, not bad. Nice. That was a, should be an easy birdie and I was struggling for the par. Typically I play this whole safe and go out wide, but I'm hungry for birdies. So we're risking it all going down the middle with my PA3. Hopefully we see them on the other side. That looks perfect. PA3 is best putting putters and throwing putters, arguably. The Proxy and the Envy are some pretty nasty throwing putters. This might be the first time I get a birdie on the channel taking this straight gap. Never mind, never mind. I think we might be in for a treat today. Risked it all on that hole just to miss a 15 footer. First mid range of the day, 280 feet, a lot less dangerous. All I have to do is keep it low and miss this tree 20 feet off the tee. I got the low part right. And I missed the tree, but I have a 40 footer. Not really a death putt, but I definitely don't want to miss this. Sloped green left to right. I do have a tailwind putt and I like those. Oh, I did not get the drop. Just save the par. Could be a confidence booster. A little 20 foot comebacker. It's not really a comebacker, but for me it is. Even through four is not what I was expecting. Caution tape for October. In other words, this is a pretty scary hole. I think the A5 will be the play. I can hit this on Heiser. I might try to flip up a little bit and carry me left. And that is if I miss all the trees. I in fact did not miss all the trees. Here's a life lesson. When you're getting off the tee bad, you can't make any birdie putts. Just stay cool, calm, collected. Pars are not bad, bogeys are bad. So as long as you keep saving pars, there's always potential to have a good round. Oh, that was a healthy bid. There's been several times in a tournament where I'll go on this par stretch and I get so annoyed because I'm like, oh, I could have been three down through now and I get all flustered. And then I get a bogey and it's like, oh shoot, okay, yeah, this could actually be more annoying. So be thankful for your pars. Straight shot, 203 feet. It's basically the same shot that I threw on three. So I'm gonna run it back with the PA3. I usually get on this right gap, but I'm feeling the left gap today. 
Oh. <laughs> Speaking of pars, we got to save one. Not good, not good, not good. I can see the line that I need to take, but it is tight. I think we go A5. That's the play. You heard it here first. Okay. I think I'm about to bogey. I literally gave that long speech for nothing. It's not over yet. I still have a chance. I'm in circle two. The only problem is that it's elevated. I'm wide open. No obstacles, just height. If that doesn't get the wheels turning, then I don't know what will. Momentum moving into hole seven. Downhill, 199 feet. Just a little chip shot with the distortion to jump on the birdie train. Just sit. Just sit. It did not sit. I just hit a 50 footer. I can do it again. This one isn't 50 feet though. It's more, more like 40. Slightly uphill. Let's freaking go. I'll do it again. Let's go. Let's. Hey. It's the first one. First one's all that matters. This is perfect timing too, because we got a stretch of like five birdie holes. So if I can capitalize on that, we will be sitting pretty. I usually go down the middle gap, but for whatever reason, I cannot do it. So I'll throw it as a giggle, but the real shot, A2 down this right gap, and just play like a little hyzer skip to the basket. Jo oh, Annie skip. That's fine. Let's see what would have happened if I'd gone down the middle. That's why I don't do it. Just inside the circle. What's going on here? It was dead. I'm trying to switch up the putting angles for you guys. Usually I put the camera behind me, but I don't know. It doesn't, I feel like it doesn't really do the putt justice. Even though it's kind of cool seeing the putt from behind, but I feel like this way you can kind of see the distance I'm dealing with a little bit better. Okay, here we go. It's the sound of commitment. Last putter shot of the day, and then everything turns into mid-ranges and drivers after this. Final chance to get a birdie with this PA3. A little bit of hyzer, have it flip the flat. Oh, that was too much hyzer. I am... Again, another little 30, 40 footer. Thankfully I hit these trees to stop me from going any farther. All right, literally the same putt that I just had. Make the correction. Let's go. Dude, I can hear the wind screaming out there. But we're deep in the woods, so it's not affecting us yet. Two more holes though, and we're right back out in it. Two down heading into back nine snack time, just a straight tunnel shot. We have water right, so I don't want to go there. Busting out the archive, just hitting it flat, keeping it low. Oh, she's stable. Hit something and sit. What do you know? We got a 40 footer. I know I probably don't have the best selection of prodigy discs for you prodigy nerds out there. So with that being said, the next prodigy video that I do, what are some must have discs that I need to bag? Let me know down below. It's in. With that being said, when I first started playing disc golf, your boy was a prodigy nerd. I threw only prodigy. Shout out to Kevin Jones. But then I kind of ran into this phase where I don't know if it's still the case now, but anytime I tried to buy a D2 or a D1, it was always different. And I just got fed up with it. I switched over, kind of started throwing more disc mania. Here lately, I started buying like all the new release Prodigy stuff, the FX4, the Archive, and those have been solid discs. So like I said, let me know what are some things I need to try out. First part four of the day, 430 feet, dog legs to the right, and then goes uphill. Usually I play it safe, pitch up, and then attack on the second shot, but we're going aggressive. We got the FX4, punch it on some Anheuser, see how close we can get. Oh, that might've been too much Anheuser. I hit something. Hit the center of the fairway. If you go aggressive enough and you hit all the magic lines, you can really climb this hill, but that's not the case for me. P model OS, very overstable, very uphill. Got to put this on a lot of Anheuser. That looks good. That's really good. Oh, that's parked. All you got to do is trust the disc. I can feel that wind. Got the birdie. Off into the wind we go. Here we go. Big shot with the reverb into a headwind. Uh, I did not turn it. That thing is stable, dude. Holy cow. We're down there. Probably 220 to the pin. Perfect shot for the A2. Just a little chipsy daisy. That's short. <sighs> Why can I not get the distance right? What would you say the harder putt is? Straight into a headwind or the right to left wind? I think the latter, but I also just really suck at headwind putts. 
Let's go right on the pole though. Look at your boy. Kind of a bad drive, definitely a bad upshot, but we hit a putt. 385 feet with a tailwind. Sloped left to right green, water right the whole way. Gonna try to forehand this reverb, but I'm going to have to probably play a flex. This thing's already beefy. I don't need a tailwind to add to it. Oh my gosh. Please just sit, just sit. I did it. That was the worst shot I've thrown on the channel. Told myself to put a little bit of flex on it and I decided to throw a roller. And now I am way out of position. And I definitely have a forehand, but completely blind. That looks good. I think it's probably a 40 footer. Never mind. That's actually a great shot. I couldn't see the pin. It just looked really far to the left. This is a good little scramble. Easiest putt of the day. Don't screw it up. I mean, I kind of deserved it. That was a horrible drive. That's two, two missed putts from 15 feet. That's my kryptonite, man. I'm chilling from 20 to 30 feet, but you get me inside 20. I suck. Basically an impossible hole to get a bounce back birdie on 530 feet straight down a hallway, but we have a tailwind and I'm not too upset if I lose any of these discs. Finish, 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 finish. Wow. I got greedy, but we're okay. This thing held its turn in that tailwind longer than I thought it would. We are safe and that's all that matters. Not leaving the short. I've never gotten a birdie on this hole and I'd rather be long and 30 feet because I can actually hit those putts. What was that? Bad news. I threw nose up. That was not even close to an ace run. It was a horrible shot. Good news. I don't have a 15 footer, so that's cool. It's definitely all mental, like for whatever reason. Never mind. Maybe it's luck. It is 100% mental though. It's 15 footers. I don't know how to get them out of my head. Downhill 315 feet. This hole is screaming for a forehand. So we're going to do just that with the FX2 Air. Again, 160 grams. Doesn't change the flight whatsoever. This thing is overstable. On Anheuser. Wow, that wind is going crazy. I'm choking coming down the stretch, ladies and gentlemen. I want to throw again, but I don't at the same time. I like throwing multiple discs, but then you have to get them and that part's not fun. All right, am I going to have anything in here? My one putter. Where you at FX2? It does not help that that disc is tan. Bro, where did you go? Oh, you're right here. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be lucky if I can even get out. I don't can... There's no way. There is absolutely no way. Okay, I got it. There's no way, there's no way. What? Dude, I literally couldn't see anything I threw that way. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to see that in the editing room. I literally had zero view. I'm facing this way, the basket's there. I had to throw out this way and I just, I literally just stood there with a the putter and I just, ah. What the hell happened? That was pretty cool, but let's get back to birdies. No more of this par crap. A tailwind, tail left to right. I think archives the play. Here we go. That's definitely the play. Oh, it finished a lot. Maybe it wasn't the play. Not bad at all. I was gonna go MX3, but I thought with the left to right wind, it wasn't gonna let my disc finish. Turns out everything's okay. The archive has me at a 15 footer. Statistically right now, I'm 0% from this distance, but we can change that. <laughs> if that came out, I'd have DNF'd. Okay, I lied. This is the last putter shot. It's 230 feet. All you do, you take your 350G PA3, you line it up, envision the ace, and then commit on a little bit of hyzer or a lot of hyzer and you just throw it right. Then as a giggle shot, you take your A4, same idea, except you throw it flat this time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This isn't horrible. Do I go through this hole or do I straddle out and go, I found them straddle out this way. All right, final hole, little distance competition, comparing the feedback to the FX4. Taking the first shot, gonna compare the flights and the distance. Oh, she's stable. That's not a good shot because the pin is way to the right. All right, FX4, I think this one's gonna be not as stable. Straight with a little finish. 
much rather have that second shot. See, as you can see, this uh, upshot is not good. This is probably 260. I think I should go forehand. Probably the play. We got all that room. Let's redeem ourselves with the A2. Get the distance right. Oh my gosh, we did not get the distance right. Oh, it checked up. It's that base plastic. That thing doesn't skip. What an absolute roller coaster of a round. Started off very slow, but then hit a clutch putt to save par. Went on a nice little birdie streak. Took a bogey. Had a crazy chain out. And then finishing off strong, ending it on a 40-footer. Oh, you mother...